It's 820. I'm anchored. I might put another one in. It's supposed to be 5 to 15 knots. And it's it'll be a little bit of chop in the bay harbor here because we're quite a ways from that other break wall. And it's been blowing all day. There's some other boats out. It took me a while to, to set up. I'm at hot waters. It's a log over there. I thought maybe I could go over and just tie off to it, but I I don't want to fool around. If the wind switches, the early report said the wind was going to switch tonight. I don't know if it will or not. So I'm about 50 yards off those rocks. I may throw that other anchor in just and leave the line loose on the deck. So if it does, if the one I have drags, then uh, we'll be all right. Tomorrow I'm headed to Cleveland for the uh, Tall Ship Festival. I wanted to be in the water today, but they had severe thunderstorm warnings and rain, and shit, we got a couple of drops. But uh, well, that's okay. They sailed from Sandusky rather than Canada, so they may sail tomorrow and uh, start arriving. So I might be able to sail with them. We'll see. 7:45. <laughs> We're somewhat underway. Rolly out here. So it should settle down a little bit during the day, but for right now it's pretty darn early. Getting my sea legs back underneath me. Um, learning how to trim the boat in a little bit different conditions. A few more things to handle. Trying to keep this new extra panel here and trying to keep these non-waterproof connectors dry. I may have to switch that, but I knew that when I put it on. We're just clearing the outer brake wall. No, we cleared the outer brake wall. And then uh, get past Avon Point and then we'll be able to see Cleveland. See, see how much progress we're making. Blowing 5 to 10, going anywhere from 5.2 to 6.3, 6.5. The boat's really well balanced. If I sail tighter to the wind, I've got to stay on the tiller. I come off the wind just a little bit, I lock it in, and <laughs> she's been dead on for the last 10 minutes. I even put the sun screen on my legs. You can see. There's the autopilot. Auto dab is connected and the tiller locks on. Just a little bit of a well. Not bad, comfortable, but you know, I'm headed almost perpendicular to the shoreline out. And, can't see Cleveland yet. So it's not the best day to sail to Cleveland since I want to go east and the wind's north <laughs> east. Excuse me. So we'll see. At least we'll get a day of sailing in. Just packed a couple minutes ago in the Avon power plant. It looked like there was a fishing boat in there putting down a net. So I saw a buoy too, so I decided I'd better tack out. Maybe on point for Cleveland, I don't know if they show. I think I spotted me a tall ship. I think it's a Mayflower replica. And I don't think they're sailing, I think they're motoring. Probably because they're supposed to be there already. Wind's not helping me right now. It's kind of doing the Lake Erie die off in the afternoon. So let me start sailing here again. We'll see if we can get closer. 
Well, there's Cleveland on the horizon. I'm probably still two hours out. The winds is kind of, it's blowing, but um, maybe going three or four miles an hour. So if I knew absolutely that I could go in there and drop an anchor and come back tomorrow, I would. But with the tall ships there, there's probably a whole bunch of boats. And I really don't know where to go. We'll see. Maybe I'll change my mind. I was just getting ready to bail. Yeah, I turned around. Ten after one. And it's probably yeah, the, the wind will probably pick up a little bit later. But again, too many unknowns. I thought I was going to be able to get there sooner. That's okay. We're headed back now. Avon Point there. And it's really rolly right here, so it's going to be a little bit sloppy. I may end up, instead of going downwind, I may, we'll have to see what the wind's doing. Right, let me go back to sailing. Headed back. Lots of beautiful homes in this area. And, uh, see the back side here. Most people don't get a chance to see them. When you drive down Lake Road, you can uh, see the fronts of most of them. And uh, we should clear the power plant in 20 minutes to a half hour. And we'll throw the anchor in Lorraine again. The Avon Lake power plant was originally coal-fired. Um, converted to natural gas. Used to be big, big piles of coal on the back side, on the other side of Lake Road. And that would be brought in by the railroad cars. And you can see, well, you might be able to see, if there's anything that's at an angle going from lower to upper, those were conveyor belts for feeding the furnaces. One thing, uh, not both panels are not out always in the sun. This one's being shaded right now. And I can take this one and I can flop it from side to side and move it forward and aft. Of course, that's if I'm not real busy, but uh, producing power the whole time. Straight shot downwind on the way back. fishing and bring their dogs with them and uh, got back an hour and a half less and it took me to try to tack up to Cleveland even with more wind that's too bad oh well uh, that's part of having a sailboat you don't uh, you can't just step on the gas so I'm gonna spend the night here again so should be pretty calm when supposed to go from the north east to the east or southeast so I had to make sure I was anchored in the right place position because this uh, break wall angles towards the uh, northeast so when you swing you gotta watch your far enough away so you don't get too close just in case the anchor slips there's a great blue heron over there just over the top of the solar panel, but I don't know if you can see them or not. All right, get up in the morning, breakfast, and go tear it down and go home.
this is what you get on your boat on Lake Erie when you anchor fairly close to shore and there's zero wind. I never slept so well last night, I didn't even feel like I was on a boat. But when you have an anchor light, and this is just a small example, the entire boat covered. And of course, I got to get out of the boat. So now they're in the boat, I'm just going to leave it open and when they die, go in and wipe everything down. <laughs> 